everything Marvel's The Fantastic Four comics inspiration reveals about the MCU movie. Marvel Studios has revealed several issues of Marvel Comics that could reveal more about the storyline of Phase SIXS upcoming The Fantastic Four. Marvel Studios chief Kevin Feige teased the development of The Fantastic Four back in 2019, but only recently have major updates been reported surrounding the MCU reboot of Marvel's first family. Pedro Pascal, Vanessa Kirby, Joseph Quinn, and Evan Moss Bokrick were cast as the MCU's Fantastic Four in February, and Julia Garner joined the cast as Shala Bal Silver Surfer in April, with her inclusion hinting at more character debuts and plot threads for the highly anticipated upcoming project. Shortly after Julia Garner's casting as the Silver Surfer was reported, Marvel recommended five issues of Marvel Comics to read ahead of the release of The Fantastic Four in July 2025. These include 1961's Fantastic Four No. 1, 1960 SIXS Fantastic Four No. 48, No. 49, and No. 50, and 2021's Fantastic Four, Life Story No. 1, and each of these issues include some major storylines in the Fantastic Four's history. These issues of Marvel Comics could reveal what direction Marvel Studios is taking with the Fantastic Four, teasing major villains, interesting supporting characters and game-changing events in the MCU's vibrant recreation of the Fantastic Four. Both Fantastic Four No. 1 and Fantastic Four, Life Story No. 1 detail the team's origin story, which suggests the MCU's The Fantastic Four may also explore this element of their story. Reed Richards, Sue Storm, Johnny Storm, and Ben Grimm received their abilities after being exposed to cosmic rays while on a mission to be the first Americans in space. They became instant celebrities, and began their journey as powerful superheroes, which would make for a brilliant story in the MCU's Phase 6. Marvel Studios previously stated the Fantastic Four wouldn't be an origin story. In 2022, Feige revealed the Fantastic Four wouldn't detail the team's origin story. This means Marvel's first family may follow a similar pattern to Peter Parker's Spider-Man and already be established superheroes, but the Marvel Comics inspiration may hint at the opposite. Marvel may have recommended these issues so that audiences will know the Fantastic Four's origin, but it would still be great to see unfold in live action. After their origin story was explored in Fantastic Four No. 1, the titular team faced their first villain, Mole Man. Harvey Rupert Elder's Mole Man employed his Moloids, Mole-Human hybrids, to make attempts at taking over the surface world. While Mole Man and his Moloids put up a strong fight against the newly formed Fantastic Four, the team eventually defeated them by causing a rock slide, though Mole Man became one of the Fantastic Four's most persistent, recurring villains. Mole Man would be a great first villain for the Fantastic Four. While more powerful villains have been teased for the Fantastic Four, Mole Man would make for a brilliant, small-scale villain for the team in the opening of their debut MCU adventure. Mole Man could join the likes of Batroc, Crossbones, Surtur, and Gargantos as villains defeated in the opening moments of their respective projects. Mole Man poses a smaller threat to the Fantastic Four, but would still mark a strong debut for the team. Marvel Comics Inhumans first appeared in 1965's Fantastic Four No. 45, and played a major role in one of the recommended comic issues ahead of the Fantastic Four's release. 1960 SIXS Fantastic Four No. 48 saw the Fantastic Four team up with Black Bolt and the Inhumans against Black Bolt's evil brother, Maximus the Magnificent. Unfortunately, Maximus trapped himself and the Inhumans in a negative zone before he could be defeated, though this made way for a more powerful villain to debut. Black Bolt has already been introduced to the MCU. Black Bolt and the Inhumans have already made their first MCU appearance, as Anson Mount appeared as a Black Bolt variant in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. While this version of Black Bolt was killed by the Scarlet Witch, it creates the opportunity for more variants to appear.